Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 23H2, currently uh, with insiders in the release preview channel. And that next build, when it rolls out, will be 22631.4825 or somewhere in that point release vicinity. And our next optional update will be KB5050092. Now, because uh, it made its way into release preview on Friday, late Friday in my region, that was on the 17th, Microsoft has already confirmed that the optional bug fix C release updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11 will be rolling out on the 28th, starting the 28th. So that will be the final week of this month, January 2025. And these will be our first optional updates rolling out um, for the year. And also, it's quite a jam-packed um, update, 5050092, because we didn't get an optional update at the end of December due to the holidays. Now, first of all, starting with a couple of new features that are rolling out gradually. So when this update makes its way into stable, if you decide to install the update, because it is optional, there will be nine new features that will be rolling out gradually. And just to go through these for the purpose of this video. The first new feature is for the taskbar, where apparently the update will improve the previews that show when, you curse, when your cursor hovers over apps on the taskbar. And this update will also improve their animations. And then there's a new icon that will appear in the system tray when you use an app that supports Windows Studio FX. And this only occurs on a device that has a neural processing unit NPU. So basically this feature would only be, as an example, for a Copilot Plus PC or a device that does support a neural processing unit as mentioned. So there's another new feature where you can now work across your devices because as you may well know, you can use your iOS or Android phone to access your Microsoft OneDrive files. So if you do that when your PC is locked, you can now continue working on that file from where you left off on your PC. But just take note though, you need to sign into your PC within five minutes of using your phone. So that's basically just a new feature work across devices. And I have covered these in previous videos. So just do a search accordingly if you want more information. And then there is a new font where the update adds simsun dash EXTG, which is a new simplified Chinese font. And then the File Explorer uh, gets two new features and one, two, three, four fixes. So quite a lot going on with the File Explorer uh, in this update, which is always good to see. Now, according to Microsoft, you now have quick access to items that others have shared with you. Shared items include files, emails, Teams, chats, and a whole lot more. And to view them, you must use a Microsoft account. So this will not work if you're using a local account. And you must also be using a Microsoft Entra ID account. So it's either or to sign into Windows. And to view these shared items, you must go to your File Explorer home. And when the um, feature rolls out, you'll see a shared tab on your File Explorer's home page. And then the next new feature I have spoken about when it was... Um, still very much in preview in beta and dev and when you right click items in the left pane the new folder command appears on the context menu where currently uh, in windows 11 this new folder is in the um the show more options the overflow menu so this is basically bringing back a windows 10 feature to the main context menu uh, that microsoft stripped out with with the release of windows 11 which i think is a nice move in the right direction now, as mentioned, we've got four fixes for the File Explorer. And the first is that after you do a search, um, the search might repeat when you don't want it to. And then the next fix is the date and time properties of a file might update after you copy it, which is not a good thing. So I think that's a small significant change. And then icons on the details pane might not update as you expect when you change a theme this makes it hard to view the change when you switch between dark and light themes and the search box might lose once again the search box might lose input focus as you type and although um there are four fixes which is always good no mention yet 
of the see more menu going up and not coming down like it should so um, I thought it would roll out with this update not yet um, but as mentioned with these release preview updates this isn't set in stone so to speak so I um, mean it's always is subject to change and I have found when that when the updates that are in release preview make their way into stable there are one or two slight differences so hopefully that see more menu going the wrong way will be fixed with this update but I'll keep you guys posted and then if you are using Windows Share, you can now share directly to apps that support sharing in Windows. So Microsoft says just right click local files in File Explorer on the desktop. And then in regards to the Magnifier app, there are two new features. The update adds a new keyboard shortcut, Control, Alt and Minus. And you can use it to quickly switch between the current zoom and one bar zoom. And I have posted on this previously. And then something else that um, is rolling out with the Magnifier app is the update will add buttons to reset zoom as we can see you can reset zoom to fit to the screen and reset zoom to your last or preferred magnification so if you are using that tool those are a couple of small significant little improvements and then there's a fix for snipping tool where the snipping tool screenshots might be distorted and that's on multi-monitor setups so there's a fix for that and then there's a fix for chinese pinyin ime and apparently when you switch App Windows, the IME language might change from Chinese to English. Now, those are all the new features and fixes that are on a gradual rollout. So when the update makes it to stable, you may or may not see um, those features. And then on a normal rollout, because this is a bug fix update, there are nine other fixes mainly taking place under the hood, but I'm just going to mention four um, that you may be interested in. And there are two for remote desktop. The first fix for remote desktop is that when you reconnect to a console session, it stops responding. That's been addressed. And the second fix is the action center does not display in certain scenarios. So um, that's the action center. And that's also been fixed regarding remote desktop. And then there's a fix for virtual memory. Apparently, there was an issue that depletes virtual memory, which might cause some apps to fail. And that's a good thing. So um, virtual memory is quite a... Uh, um, important aspect of your OS. Now there's a printer fix where an installed printer was failing when the spoolie initializes and that's USB print and RPP over USB printers and there's always a printer fix or two that makes its way into these optional bug fix C release updates. So that's our next update 505 which will be rolling out I would suggest and according to Microsoft starting the 28th which will be next week Tuesday. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.